point it at you. Hopefully that one holds well. Let ready? Me, uh, ready? Let me get this turned off, otherwise this is going to go off all day. I forgot to log out on my work thing. This should be interesting. Yeah. What are we gonna find? Dead fish. That's no good. Is it a catfish? Yep. No. We're busy. Free bait. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the butt over here. Hey, good morning guys. Hello, Sarah and Jesse. Glad to see you back to work. Oh yeah. Jesse's ecstatic. Look at me now, Ma. First one on the new gap. Yeah. I'm guarantee you these fuckers are gonna be rocked up. The only thing that's going to stop these traps from walking is a ledge or a rock. Yeah. Well, from where we were, that was over a quarter mile. Oh, yeah. And some of these are probably 0 0.4 mile off. Okay, I'm going to start on that side of the Yeah, you, you box yourself in. So you stand it on end up against the live well. Steve, you gotta channel your inner Shakira. No, no, no. You want it on end? Which way? You're, you're, you're not gonna be able to move the ship. Get it. Rotate it. Got it. There you go. Slide it. Like a, like a little cheeseburger. Centered or on the dental? Just push it all the way forward. Doesn't matter. All right. Ready? Yep, I'm good. I Cody think... says you're back. Oh yeah. I think this is me too. Yeah, that looks like me. They're gonna be scattered all over. This is not going to be convenient. I thought with a smaller hook. afternoon how you doing brother Trudy says now I won't get anything done 
Hey, a lobster. Oh my God, you're back, yay. I told you. I told you, dude. Somebody says they're wishing they're fishing. So same way, right next to it. I'm minding the camera over here. Sure are. Is the fishing still slow? Uh, this is it. This we're bringing shit in. There ain't no, ain't no fishing left. Jesse didn't think we were gonna get a legal lobster today. He said he would be shocked. I am shocked. I said we're gonna get one. And guess what? Second trap, legal lobster. Oh yeah, it's, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. But we're getting it done, man. I didn't think we were gonna get these traps in this year. Honestly, I, I, I thought these were gonna be fucked. Between me being crippled and the weather. Stacy. Hi Sarah and Jesse. Good morning to you both. So if you're just joining us, we are pulling in a place we thought we may not be able to get to again this year with the way the weather's been. And these traps moved over a quarter mile up to 0.4. Big jobs on board with us. Some sponges in there. All kinds of sponge. It's all dead. None of it's alive. Ooh. Short. Right out. I'm gonna try this up here. I don't know how that's gonna go. Try that. Put that one on the, on the seat. Right. 
Go, Sarah. Yeah, I'm here to lift heavy things and get really dirty today. We've missed you. That's kind. Aww. Thank you. We missed you, Sarah. Well, you know what? It's been a little while since it's just been me and you it on has, board, too. It's been a while. Maybe, like, a few months. Three, four months. Uh, prior to you even getting a surgical consultation. Like, like December? At least. No, December we had Drew on board, December. dude. Probably November. That's when I got hurt. Since it's been me and you. Yeah, that's when I got hurt. It's November. You were hurting. Remember November? You were pulling lobster traps, and I was yelling and screaming and, and, and hollering. And... Glad to see you back out there, Sarah and Jesse. Oh crap! I'm gonna get in trouble. Y'all gonna get sick of seeing me today. Lobsters and stone crabs. Yay! Look at them all. That's a lot of lobsters, Jesse. There's a lot of shit going on in here. Is that sound music to your ears? It is. Holy fuck, look at that. What a sight. There's some fucking jumbos in there. Look at all. Uh, you got an illegal lobster right there. That's a nice patty. Yeah. And you didn't think we were going to get any today. Thank you, Stephen Allen. Look at that guy. You didn't think we were going to get none. That's a nice lobster. Probably two pounder. That's a nice amount of meat. Thank you, Dawn. Coming through with some hot chili peppers. That's a beaut. Gorgeous mahogany coloration on that one. Almost purple. It's a nice lobster. Boston with the chili peppers. Thank you so much. Some Chinaman is going to be delighted. To see that. <laughs> oh, so close. Yet yeah, so far. He gets to live until next season. <laughs> legal look at that four legals on board does this please you it does short bringing in the gear uh when you wait until the last minute like this and this is all you're doing for a whole day is bringing in traps uh business wise you're, you're losing your ass because it's re it's really expensive you burn a lot of fuel you gotta have help Hey, Jesse, it's Squishy. Hello, Squishy. Another good one. Do you have to notch your tails if they got eggs? Nope. We very rarely see an egg-bearing female. And we do not notch. Oh, you're fucked. <laughs> Look at that. Cleaning up on these up-front traps, Jesse. That looks like a nice claw. He's gauging the claw over there. Is Jesse smiling after that trap? Oh, yeah. He said, oh, yeah. I was smiling just at the fact that we found the goddamn thing. I know, right? Where to? Flat over here? Yeah, that's fine. This way? Yeah. Or this way? This way. This way. Yeah. 
Maybe I should turn it on front facing. Glad to see y'all back out on the boat. Stay healthy and safe. Sarah is the woman. That's why he keeps me around. I got some moosels. If I was just annoying, but kind of like stop this and keep me around. Okay. I'm your number one friend? Yeah. Wow. That's what that means, right? Number one? Number one! New gaff from Michelle! Jesse. Do, do it again, do it again. You want to show us how to hold a mutton? That is a nice little mutton. He's not legal. What happened to jellyfish sting video? Um, failure to launch. It, it, it might still happen. It's in the it's in the queue. And let me get a shot of him. A little sponge. That weird's growing around a little piece of soft coral, probably. Yeah. That's a mutton. That's a pretty fish. Show us how to hold a mutton. They are flappy boys and they dig when you hook up on them. One of my favorite fish to catch, one of Jesse's favorite to eat, a mutton snapper. They are feisty, they are strong. Powerful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Check out that blue eyeliner. Angry. You can Short. see the blue throughout down to a nice ombre of a light pink on the tail and coloration. He goes home, don't have the permitting to keep a snapper, and he was not legal. Great, so much fun to fish for recreationally. One of my favorites. A dirty girl today man good morning legit crew how's everybody doing today Solid. we are in isla mirada florida area does it is it a direct reflection it's a window in the i thought that was the conch cardinal Jesse had to do some maintenance and find the traps. And find the traps. That's that yellow. Baked me out. We got a little ducker. On. That is not ours. Crap. I hate it when people do that. 
requesting to go live with you. My fishing season actually starts next weekend. Oh yeah. Sarah, why are you all bundled up? Because the sun is horrible and I am going to be a very, very dirty girl today. This muck on your skin is extremely agitating. Not to me. Well, you're different, okay? Stacy says, oh my, this is after five traps. I will be covered in gunk. Which one you looking at? Dead ahead? Uh, that looks like a dirty buoy. I think they got blown more in, Jesse. Do you know Snake Creek Marina? Yes, I drove past it this morning. What happened to Drew? Drew is busy. Look who's back. Jesse's back, back again. Tough to get rid of for, for a while. This is amazing to watch. Thank you so much. Where's your seawater pump to clean your boat? The what? Sea water pump. We ain't got no bilge pump. Scuppers. How long does it take you to clean the boat after you unload everything? Just flood it and rinse everything out. It's just a process. Don't hit any bridges while you're out there. It's a good idea. I'll be very careful not to hit any goddamn bridges. Did Jesse ever get the man of war sting? Yeah. I'm gonna get in trouble. Everything's my fault. Well, they really want that video, don't they? Yes, you promised them a video. Yeah. I mean, if they're watching you. I see lobster. I'm gonna blame this on Drew because this never happened before Drew. Why is the boat so dirty? Because we are pulling dirty traps off the bottom of the ocean. This is a working vessel. Have you ever had a rope pop while pulling a trap? Yes. Yes. You want me to do anything, Jesse? Oh, that's a monster. There's a big lobster. That's a sh Good. Yeah. So this is his old jacket. This is how they grow. They literally split in half and pulled themselves out of there. So that means that somebody grew a little bit leveled up probably this guy legal much better haul than we were expecting today like hey guys thanks for all the follows Where are you guys? If you're joining us for the first time, we are on the Legit. This is a commercial fishing vessel in the beautiful Florida Keys, Island Rada area. That is Jesse, incidentally awesome. I am Sarah, the deckhand. We are pulling lobster gear today. Bring it in. Bring it in. End of the season is in less than 48 hours. It's the last day. Tomorrow's Easter, so the fish house is closed. We gotta get Mike. Yeah, I saw that people in the company. I think I might just buy that. Because we experiment with this, see what it does. Because there's, do you guys hear our 
I'm not trying to. Just can hear any slipper lobsters. Life jackets on board? Yes, they are up there in the bow. What? That's not good. What is the market price down there? Give it a Google. I have no idea. How heavy are the traps? Well, when they're dry, they're a lot lighter. But this wood is now soaked full of water, so they're much heavier, and they do have two sections of poured concrete in the bottom. Plus the growth and shit, the mud, all what? that stuff. When they're dry, maybe 50 pounds? What do you think, Jesse? Maybe. When they're wet, 50 to 70, maybe? Uh, a lot of weight. No hernias today, Sarah? No. I used to do strongman stuff. So, nope, we're not doing that. I've raised my core, I take care of myself, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. I don't want to miss any. Jesse's taking us for a zigzag. Not you, boo-boo. Lobsters are my favorite food. Good, support your local fishermen. Hello from Washington. Maine did away with wooden traps eons ago. Why the antiques? This is the standard in our fishery. Hello from Oregon. Hello from Texas. Hello from Hagersville, Canada. Brazil on the live. Hello from Rushville, Ohio, Minnesota. Is there a goal you're trying to reach in terms of Palm Harbor, Florida in the house, Pittsburgh, Chicago, Boston, Connecticut, Wellington, Kentucky, Tennessee, Chicago again, Brandon, Florida, Louisiana, Utah. It's starting to sound like a Johnny Cash song. Tarpon. You do? Did we hit those two? I thought I saw way in. Yeah. Everything, I think. How many is that? Seven, six, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Jamaica, Longview, Texas. I used to live in Longview. Once upon a time, Ukraine on board with us. Hello from Michigan. Subscriber giveaway, Beth says. Um, tonight. Jesse says tonight. If you are a subscriber, he does a weekly giveaway. You have to be a subscriber in order to be eligible. And he normally posts it on his story. They're happy to see you, Jesse. I'm happy to be seen. Were all those flippy flaps music to your ears? It's nice to see. I love that I can see you guys out there fishing and then I can go and talk to somebody in nice FR. Hi from Alabama. Mountains of Northern New York. Catskills. Maybe. Arizona. Jesse, are you gonna start fishing charters on your other boat after the season is over? Oh, I, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Are we going to pull some more while we're out here? We're on the way home? We're going home. We're going home. 
So we're gonna take this load back up to the dock, guys. We're gonna go for a boat ride. How? Move. Yes, sir. Move that trap over to that side. Absolutely. Just a little bit. All right. Even yeah. with me standing on that side. We had to put water in the live well. All right. A lot. I gotta lift it over these wires, huh? Yeah. I'm just gonna shift everything. So I'm going over the protector. How's that, Jesse? Looks great. Whatever, make yourself happy. I'm asking about the weight distribution, bro. That's fine. Okay. All right, guys, we're going for a boat ride. Can you see a trap tree, Ken? <sighs> Jesse likes to say our fishery is one of the most regulated in the world. Trap specifications are actually like a two page document from how much cubic concrete goes into the trap to the exact dimensions and allowable materials. So this is a pine wood wire edge. And then we got two portions of poured concrete. That's the chute. So they climb up onto the top of the trap and they fall in. How many traps can you haul at one time? More when we're putting them out for the season. The most we've put on board the legit when I've been working here is 17. We had them stacked four high. How many lobsters have you caught? That many. What'd you say, Jesse? Something migrating. Migrating? Oh, vibrating. I think it's the plastic on the back gunnel. So glad to see you back. Thanks for your details. Of course, that's why I'm here. When I'm here, I try to read your comments so that you guys can get your answers. Otherwise, our mods are wonderful at answering questions. Thank you guys for the follows. How long do the traps stay in the water? So they go out, I believe it is the Sunday after mini season or the Sunday before opening day, which tends to be at the end of July, early August. Lobster opens uh, early to mid August. Uh, for commercial fishermen, they're not eligible to fish during mini season. Full season opening, we start pulling traps. They're allowed in the water before then so they can soak and start attracting the critters. So they're staying in the water from August through March end of March, every single trap has to be out of the water. Through March, end of March, every single trap has to be out of the water. And when he measures, there's three inches and a little spike. If that spike falls back onto the tail, it is not a legal lobster. We call it a short. August to March, yes. That is correct, Angel. Thank you guys for the shares. 1.9K aboard the commercial fishing vessel, the legit in the beautiful Florida Keys. That's Jesse, incidentally awesome. I'm Sarah, the deckhand. Today, we are pulling lobster gear for the end of the season. We got less than 48 hours to get all the traps out of the water. Today is the last day because everything's closed for Easter. He puts out 100 lobster. Jesse also wheels and deals in stone crab. He runs about 500 stone crab traps. So as soon as lobster's out of the water, we're gonna start pulling stone crab. Pulling the gear, taking it back to the dock. What will he fish for when it's not season? We'll see. Sometimes he does bait. He's working on permitting for the new boat. Does a lot of gear work in the off season. Lots of snook out there. They're in the area. I saw more tarpon today than snook in the canal. Snooks, I'm sorry, Tarpon is definitely moving in. We're getting into that season. Fix the lag. Wish I could, I got wet gloves on. Show off the trap table. Sure. So this was custom built. That little T you see or antler, that is the trigger. So that causes the trap, the table to go from horizontal or vertical to horizontal. And we gotta put that back. Okay. 
we're in the Keys Island Marata area. I would love to be out there crabbing or fishing. This is the nicest weather day we've had in a minute. It's been real rough. What is gear work? Georgie uh, fixing up traps. So if that means the little pieces of tire that hold the lid in place go bad, repairing the lines when it comes to stone crab, we're gonna be replacing a lot of the uh, escape rings or glory holes as Jesse calls them. Um, just getting them prepped for the next year, putting new tags on them. If any new traps or previously loved traps from an our fishermen are purchased, they gotta be branded and marked appropriately and tags have to be put on them and he has to put his buoy on there. Thank you guys for the follows. No problem, Georgie. It's a little rough. It's not the perfect day, but glad we got out on this side of the island this morning. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Stab it. That thing keeps wanting to go vertical, but when it does that, we get more water in the boat. Is it a hobby or a living? For me, it's a hobby. For Jesse, this is his gig. This is his thing. How far out do you go? Jesse runs multiple lines. I would say the furthest, we got some crab traps maybe four miles offshore. Right now, with the legit, we have been doing shallow water stuff. However, he just acquired a new vessel and we'll be doing deep water. Uh, Jesse, what's rule number one, guys? So the question was, do all these lobsters go to market or does Jesse keep some for his table? Don't get high on your own supply. That is correct. Jesse actually stands to make more money by selling the lobster than by keeping it and eating it. Is it fun doing it? I think if you have, if you don't mind hard work, you don't mind getting dirty, and you like looking at all the critters, yeah, it's fun. I could see this being some people's worst nightmares. What happens if you can't get your traps pulled because of bad weather? You're not allowed to be pulling them out of season. What's the average price? It depends on the time of season. It depends on supply and demand. There's a lot of variables that go into it. What do you use for bait? So spiny lobsters are actually very community oriented. Um, at the beginning of the season, we don't put any particular bait in the traps because the small lobsters attract the bigger lobsters. It's like a non-traditional bait. So we leave the short lobsters in the traps and it will attract bigger lobsters to come and hang out. It's like a dive bar kind of situation. Uh, later in the season, we'll start putting pig's feet in there and that is more so for the stone crab. The stone crab will climb into lobster traps as well. And unlike the spiny lobster, the stone crab can't get back out. The lobster can come and go. They just really like the structure of the trap. That's right, the legit does have a Suzuki 140 outboard on the back. Jesse likes his Suzuki. I'll come up there once we get on the other side. Do you sell lobsters locally? Yes, we sell specifically. Hey, live wells drying up. Located just 
Jesse does, does love his Carolina scab. Looks like an osprey up there. BMAC! Close the seacock on the live well. Okay. I gotta set you guys down for just a minute. Forgive me. Enjoy the view for a little bit. fishing we are hauling in lobster gear for the end of the season today so we're taking our first load in of six traps and then we will move to a different line and pull those ones out of the water is dr drew on deck he is not he is busy we were just saying earlier that it's been a while since it's been just me and him on the deck, like maybe November. Is the traps out right now? Yeah, so we got to get them all in today. They all have to be out of the water sundown, end of March. And tomorrow is Easter, so the fish house will be closed. Ed, if you know, you know, we try not to give too many specifics on where exactly we are. Michelle, if you're in the chat, thank you so much for the gap. I got to break it in today. Have a great day and be safe. Thank you so much. 
Hey guys, if you're familiar with our live, you already know when we go into this mangrove area, we may cut out, we may stall, we may lag because of the cell phone service. If we do cut out or we go dark on you, swipe away and come on back. It will pick back up. A sail away, thank you so much. Hello from San Antonio, Texas. What do you do next for work? So we're hauling lobster traps in. Stone crab remains in season for another month. Then stone crab remains in season for another month. And then it will be a lot of gear work. How many traps do you have left to pull? One. I'm trying to count, what, two lines? Two sets, two sets left, but we don't know how many in those lines. Good morning from Chicago. Greetings from South Africa. Yeah, this area lags, guys. If you lose us, swipe away and come on back. We'll still be going live. This is just a bad service area. Love the view. Yeah, this is one of the awesome parts of our little commute. Tommy, we are in the Florida Keys. We are aboard the legit. I like how smooth it gets in this cut. We're not bouncing around. Glades. Yeah, we're just going through the mangroves right now. Thank you guys for the finger heart and the heart me. Good morning from North Mississippi. Living the good life. Living life. Good morning from North Mississippi. Happy Easter. I know it's only Easter Eve. Thank you guys so much. Destiny and Mark coming in with a bunch of finger hearts. Thank you guys. This man, he looks like Jesus. lobster here. Good morning from Seattle. Good morning to you as well. Ice cream cones. Y'all gonna make me hungry. Nepal on board with us. Good morning. Good night from Nepal. Show face. It's jammy. Hope you guys have a great trip. Thank you. We're going to be out and back a couple of times. Destiny with the finger hearts. Good morning from Wisconsin. Louisiana is a dual console, so he likes to drive up there. That way we can haul gear and he can see where things are. 
And then there is a center console back here that has been picked up off the deck because of the bilge water. So when we're actively pulling, he can drive from the center console. Good night from Vietnam. Good morning from San Francisco. Do you ever show when you're unloading your traps at the market? So we have not done a live stream there, but I do have some videos on the underscore deckhand of uh, claws getting sorted and then how the lobsters get packaged before they go to the distributor. You can check that out on my page if you would like to see what it's like at the fish market. Start Louisiana on board with us. Good morning to you too. What are you doing there? Actually, we are hauling lobster gear in, spiny lobster gear for the end of the season. Bangladesh on board with us. How far is Cuba? Danny boy, uh, is that the Cuban flag? I'm sorry. It's a helicopter up there. 90 miles from Key West and what, what? 70 miles, 150 miles as the crow flies, maybe. Idaho Falls on board with us. Jesse does post old live streams up on his YouTube. So if you ever miss us and we're not live, you can always head over to YouTube and watch our other lives. Awesome, Danny boy. The captain is better. Jeff, he has been released to light duty. So he is currently allowed to lift no more, <coughs> excuse me, than 20 pounds. Uh, temperature here is in the 70s today. High of 79, low 71 is what my Alexa told me this morning. Marathon here from the Seven Mile Bridge, a neighbor on board with us. Good morning, let him know my sticker is being delivered today. I have informed delivery, that's awesome. I'll climb up to the bow when we get into the canal. We can talk to him. The water is probably 70 degrees, it's still pretty chilly. How did you two start working together? Uh, I actually invited Jesse to go fishing with me first. That is a true story. I invited him to come out fishing with me. I had a friend in town on my birthday and he came out. And then the next season he asked me when my brother was in town if we wanted to throw some traps. And then here we are going on two years later. They missed you, Jesse. With every round so far. What's the name of the electrolyte tablets that Jesse uses? They're on my Amazon list. If you go to my link tree, you'll see uh, stuff that I use on Amazon. It's all it's just a laundry list of shit that I use all the time. And I actually get like a little tiny cut every time somebody buys something off of there. So uh, knock yourself out. They work really good. Better than drinking gallons and gallons of Gatorade, you know. What did Jesse pack for lunch today? Uh nothing. Jesse doesn't eat on board. No. I have never seen you eat anything on board. 
I'll eat on board. Right. And he tells me I'm disgusting for doing it. Gross. But in my defense, Jacob ate on board. He did. He, he's big on self-care, you can tell. He's always in a good mood. Like, his blood sugar probably never drops below a certain threshold, so he's just never angry. You do get hangry. You also go into carb comas and get lethargic. I ate a peach pie for dinner last night. <laughs> a balanced diet. That's right, you can enjoy past trips on YouTube. That worked out perfectly. Yeah. I could not believe we got out there to get these traps. It was a little rolly, not like choppy. I couldn't, I couldn't haul ass. No, absolutely not. But at least we got out there. But I have to be careful with the whole you know, um, titanium neck thing. Such beautiful scenery. Home sweet home. Oh yeah, Jackie said uh, she to let you know that she has informed delivery and her sticker is being delivered today. Oh, wonderful. Ziggy says, are all the traps in? No, no. And the next time we go to pull stone crab, we're gonna start bringing those in as well. That's how it's supposed to be done. Like you're, the idea is not to wait till the last minute. Like this is the last day of the possible season we could be pulling traps and we're busy bringing in gear. It's absurd. Well, uh, I mean, technically we could pull tomorrow, but the fish house is closed. There's no, yeah, I mean, we couldn't sell anything we harvest. Uh, Sheila says, my husband had the same surgery, titanium plate and four screws in his neck. Yeah, I got all, I think they went shopping at Lowe's or Home Depot or something before I went. He's got some legitimate, like, they bore holds and oh then put God. lag bolts Dude, in there. That shit's lag bolted together. I was imagining, like, little watch screws or something, you know? No. Uh -huh. Did you get the forklift working? Oh, yeah. I just turned it off and turned it back on. Laura's laughing at you. Becky, I can't answer that because of TikTok guidelines, but uh, take your best guess. My husband hurts now more than he did prior to the surgery. I feel better already. I, I feel like I should be throwing these traps around. No, no. So they told him eight weeks and they cleared him for light duty at five. So he healed up really good. <laughs> Becky says, gotcha, never mind. The, the surgeon looked at me and literally said that's amazing i'm an amazing man okay becky says welcome back jesse thank you same as myself i haven't felt better since jesse can now snap his fingers there was one point where he couldn't even snap his right hand you were having a hard time even like lifting your right hand up at one a, point i was a mess I, I went three days without sleep because i couldn't fucking do anything was in so much pain and then um he used to not be able to whip his hands back and forth how would you describe that he used to not be able to do that and he can do that he was showing off this morning look what i can do well they really build the fuck out of these houses now don't they that's a fortress that's a monstrosity Fifty years, they'll be catching lobsters out of the living room. Uh, Sheila said, "Well, he also has another herniated disc just below where they did this fusion." Oof. Yeah, I've got a fourth above mine, and they said it's not ready to be done yet, but probably in five or six years, I'll have to get it taken care of. Oh man, again? Yeah. So will they go on, go in on the other side of the neck, so you'll look like you have like a full scar all the way across the neck? Or are we not thinking about that? That's future Jesse problems. <laughs> future Jesse problems. Puppy. Hi. Well, 
Well, we got out there just in time. <laughs> Laura says Pez. I'm a Pez dispenser. <laughs> What a beautiful view of Jesse or the canal. We like the canal. It's just the backyard. Where is this beautiful place? We are in the Florida Keys, Isla Mirada area. We are heading back to the dock with lobster traps. Weather looks great. It's all right. It's suitable. It's the nicest day we've had in a minute. It's been puffing. My deceased father was a commercial fisherman here in Louisiana, but the waters here are dirty and brown. Oh yeah, you guys got that Mississippi River water. It's a beautiful view of Jesse back and the scenery. Are the manatees there? That ain't bad either. Uh, I don't see any right now. They were when we were leaving. Will we be able to see the new boat? Boat? Yes, indeed. We're going to drive right by it. I'll show it to you here in a second. Thank you guys for the follows. Okay, up there oh. on the left, that is the entropy on the left. Where are all the iguanas? Um, they were shitting on my boat yesterday. I got a bunch in my yard waiting to be turned into shit bait. All over my boat. Iguana. That is the new boat right over there. There she is. I have to verify that we are not a robot. Verification complete. So we're going to come up here to unload. Thank goodness the tide is high and I don't have to huck these traps as high. The bigger boat. Yeah, she's right over there in the corner. Becky says, my dream. Well, she needs to be repainted. That is an off-season project. That is. It is the entropy. Or the cowboy popsicle, if you ask. That was her, she still has her old name on there. She is the entropy. The cowboy popsicle? Yeah. I don't get it. I'm not gonna explain it. Why not? Community guidelines. Oh, okay. Where's that trap table down, please? Up, 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 up. Sorry, Jesse. We going up to that cleat? This one? Got it. I'm gonna wait until you got up there and I'm gonna move your bibs. Mm -hmm. And the gaff. And I need to get my gloves on. So exciting, right, fellas? To what? See me wear? Yeah. Yeah. Woot woot. I like watching people work. There you go. What do you think? Should I shift them up there? Uh, whatever you want to do, doesn't matter. Let's figure out a 
strategy, shall we? Or just huck it up there. Go, Sarah. Not lifting them right. If you choke back on them, choke back on them. Grab them right here. All right. Then that puts puts all puts all the work on your hips. That you, you should not be using your arms hardly at all. Well, these ones have to come up to my chest, but yeah, I'll do it. Then you remember remember that. That little clip you filmed of me throwing them over my head. You're never doing that again. I'm going to be doing that next month. Hey, make sure the follows everybody. They're saying you can do it, Sarah. I can do it. You can do it. Go, Sarah. Ashley, like, you, you, you just want me to hire somebody to clean my boat while I work? Is, is that what you're wanting? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a working boat in the middle of a work day. I don't know how clean you want this shit to be. You can come down and clean it if you want. Yep, drag the pallet over. On the concrete? Uh, Jackie, I'm... No, 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 no. You... What, what are you doing? No, no, no. You said drag the pallet over. Where do you want it? Put it, like, this... Ideally, you'd want to pull the pallet over before you put any traps on the dock so you don't have to move them so far but I gotta be able to get to it with the forklift. There you go. Three wide? Yeah. Long way? Doesn't matter. They're, they're gonna get crisscrossed anyway. I want them centered. Good? Good enough. Yes, Sarah is definitely getting a workout. But it's really only like a few minutes of actual labor at a time when you're bringing in traps. Most of it's just long, stinky boat rides. Doesn't make it suck any less. A 
American pine. These traps are made of American pine. Wire and concrete. Does this please you? They're hanging out a little, a little more on this side. See what I mean? Yeah. You just want them centered. So if you look, all the boards are spaced out evenly. Okay. You just want to put them dead nuts in the middle of that gap. There you go. Right. You get the hang of it. Does this please you? Let's go. There you go. How long do they last? Uh, I can get a good six, seven years out of these. Why do you cover your face? Uh, I just don't like to shave. That's right. Oh, let's find my water bottle. Baby on a liver is out and about. Mm -hmm. Baby on a liver is out and about. Oh, I just don't want to talk to him. <coughs> oh, manatee. Let's go see the manatee. Ramming speed. Stop it. Jesse loves his manatees. How many more trips? Two or three? Think, yeah, two or three. At least two. See that light spot? This manatee. Hi, manatee. Thank you, guys. How many more trips? I already said that. Hang on, I gotta take off my gloves. Look at Jesse driving. Too loud. Did you catch anything today? Yes, lobster. Oh, yeah. Live ball. Turn the live ball on. Thumbs up. Can you switch up? Yep. Jesse? Yes. stand back there while that fills or as I will forget. Fine. There we go. I want to pet manatees. I got gotcha. you. Water bottle. So subscriber giveaway later tonight. This is the sticker. If you are a subscriber, you are automatically entered into the raffle. Must be subscribed to be eligible. Fuel is too damn expensive. Yeah, especially Rec 90. Danny boy, thank you for the follow. Show us the dock where the green light happens. Uh, hey, back there. We'll be back. We'll be back. Any manatees today? You just missed one. We'll just missed one. Can you catch manatees? Not here. Beautiful place, definitely paradise. Where are you heading to now? Uh, to pick up more gear. Are we going north or south? Uh. Okay. 
Great job, Sarah. Thank you. Jesse's on the water. Woohoo! Where are you heading to now? What? Mile and a half? Bayside? Be in Bay? Out. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be big. How is the weather? It's alright. It's comfortable. It's not hot. Which is really nice when you're stacking traps. The heat really kills you. we go there's an adult brown pelican they almost went extinct in the 70s and 80s due to pesticide usage population is now thriving we like them i call those the aryan pelicans the aryan pelicans they got they got like the blonde top on and the blue eyes you know yeah when they're mature the babies have brown heads the juveniles Season about done? It's over. This is the last day. It's, it's, uh, it's an hour and a half. How you been feeling today, Jesse? Doing okay. Looking good. Are you in Florida today? Where is this place? We're in the Keys. Florida Keys. Hi, Jesse and Sarah. Hello. Hello. Living the dream. Is this the dream? Nightmares are dreams too, you know. Uh, Hi, Jesse and Sarah. Nice to see you back on board. Oh, yeah. You guys. Can you put my ring gear on this? Here, look at Jesse's hand. Isn't it neat? Sure you don't want it on the edge of the live well where it's less likely to blow away? That's yeah, fine. I can't haul ass in this weather. It's got about a foot of water. I'm going to turn the live well off. That's fine. I have 76 degrees in Alorada today. And I'm making electricity. No clouds. Solar power. And we got some cloudy days last week. We had some stormy days yeah, last week. Georgie says perfect. Amazes me nobody lives here. Fucking amazing. I've never seen anyone there. Now that you mention it, it's always shuttered up. Always. I've never seen anyone there. Hey guys, hello, back on the water. Yes, Jesse has been released for light duty. So I can run the boat, I can clear the traps, but I can't handle the traps. Look at your little cormoran. Happy Easter! Spring breakers and snowbirds will head home soon. soon. I'm gonna go sit because I see white caps. 49 degrees in PA right now. What type of boat? Uh, Carolina Skiff. 21 foot Carolina Skiff with a Suzuki 140 outboard on the back. A little laughing goal hanging out on that. Hello from Chicago.
to see a pound per trap on the spiny lobster traps, but Jesse was shocked that we had any legal keepers today because it's so late in the season. into Captain Eric. We're kind of like anti-social butterflies. Is there a lot of fishermen? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not competitive like you might think. It's a small community. Everybody kind of knows everybody. When I was your age, we used to drive our boat with the oars. Sarasota anyway. Uh, Captain Eric? Yeah, that's a few hours away. Southern Man, thank you for the support. We certainly appreciate it. to helping answer the questions. Our mods are amazing. I just try to answer them to engage with you guys when I am able to. Because sometimes we're, when I'm not on board, Jesse's not answering many questions. He's working. It's picking up a little bit. Little choppy is right, little white caps out here. What type of boat? 21 foot Carolina? Yep. try to reset the live goal. Thank you guys for contributing. Alien Man, Southern, Freshy, Mark Lee, thank you guys.
some hand hearts up there, guys. Okay, Stacy. Thank you, Jackie. <gasps> Ooh, pretty glowing jellyfish. Those are some of my favorites. They're so pretty. Thank you so much, Southern Man. Thank you, thank you. is definitely picking up a little bit. Is this the new boat? No, we did drive past the entropy on this last load that we took in. So you guys got a little peek of the entropy. In the off season, I will have to paint her new name on there. You're back. Yeah, Jesse is on light duty. I'm helping out today doing heavy lifting. Recommendations for places with live music besides boondocks. I'll be in KCB. Key Colony Beach? Ugh, marathon. Uh, live music in marathon? I'm trying to think. Live music in Isla Mirada can help you out with a little bit better. I've only been in marathon twice so far this year. Um, in terms of restaurants that are cool in marathon, I personally like, um, called Rhode Islands. but in terms of live music I'm not sure Lorelai puts their schedule up online for their entertainment they do some good live music that's an Alan Rada. Um the OB does some good live music depends on who's playing there Marathon is a quiet key. So Marathon is a collection of islands. It's uh, one of the three major towns in the Keys. Uh, I, I'm not huge on Marathon because I feel like there's such bad, I feel like every time I drive to Marathon, I almost get in a car crash, but that's just me. You're going to the Lorelei? I do like the Lorelei. I do the Key Lime Colada love their key lime colada. So good. sharks sometimes we get nurse sharks in the traps we see bonnet heads we see nurse sharks on a regular basis when I fish on the bridge I see big ones come in bull sharks come in caught a couple of sharks on the bridge nurses they're fun to fight Don't be 
You got them all? I'm the only one left. Oh, I thought you said nobody left out here. Oh, I gotcha. I'm tired. <laughs> my legit sticker is going on my kayak. Yay! I should put a legit sticker and a deck hand sticker on my kayak. I haven't taken my kayak out in a minute. Y'all just driving around now? No, we are collecting lobster gear. We're trying to get up on the next line. Jesse's spotting buoys. Looks like a beautiful day. It could be a little flatter. I don't like all these white caps. Do not want to fall. about putting stickers on my kayak other than like um, a ruler for measuring fish. It's a good idea though. If y'all would like to get a legit sticker, become a subscriber. There's a weekly giveaway. Bumpy ride, indeed. Guam. Guam on board. How much is a commercial fishing license a year there? We'd have to ask Jesse. It depends on what species you're going after. There's a whole bunch of credentialing to really get into it. We would have to ask Jesse. on what species. Um, there is an app that I use down here called uh, Fishing Rules. And then FWC has the most up-to-date information specifying each species, what the bag limit is, minimum lengths and everything like that.
crab, Jesse. Great to see Jesse on the boat, isn't it? Looks like a lot of fun out there. Sometimes. Is that one? We are in the Isla Mirada area. Okay. Alright. I don't know where all the traps went. There's no way he brought all those in. I'm gonna have to refill the live well again. The crab is scattered oh. all over hell and half of Georgia. Okay, just barely missed it. The that buoy, we're good. Okay, he's in his happy place. Who is? You are. I am. Krista says. Oh. Is this your happy place? Find a happy place. Hang on. <laughs> Do it again. Find a happy place. <laughs> I want to clean the floor of the boat. Not yet, you don't. So bad. Who says that? Uh, it just scrolled past and I put on my gloves, so I can't tell you. Michelle is laughing. That drained out pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything electronic in there, do I? I uh, hope not. Live well would be a silly place to put it. Well, I'm trying to keep the deck clear. Alrighty. I'm going to put you guys up on the bow for a little bit. And then I will try to pick you up when I can. Oh, I angled it the wrong way. How is that? Is that a decent view? Let's find a man of war. Happy Easter, everyone. Look up our lobster fishing, Nova Scotia, Canada. I'll let you know when we get one. You're going to holler at me? That way I can talk to people in the meantime? Yeah. Scott wants to find a man of war. I'm not sure if this is or not. Yeah, this is. Okay, okay. Yeah. what might be in here. Hopefully lobster. Maybe some crab. 
Lobster! Oh, this smell is delicious. Short, short, short. Any shark in the area? Certainly. Heather octopus in the boat. Hello, So when they grow, they shed out. It's not unalived. It's just a shed. In the Florida Keys, Isla Mirada area. Okay. They're asking where this is. Somebody was asking how much you pay per year for a commercial fishing license in the area. Oh God, it's if only it were that simple. <sighs> if you had a firstborn child, it would cost a firstborn child. Debbie says that water is gorgeous. It's actually really dirty. Ah, Craig, hi. Long time no see. Nice to see you. Hello, Craig. The legit is a 21 foot Carolina skiff. What is for bait? Nothing today, no bait on board. Unruly deckhands. Spiny lobsters don't have traditional bait. We leave the short lobsters in the trap and they attract the bigger lobsters to come in and hang out. For stone crab traps, we use pig's feet and fish and occasionally an iguana. Would it be fun to name uh, a new boat an Eskimo word? Would that be fun? Why do the traps seem further apart today? Uh, Drew already brought in some of these and I don't know how many. So I'm, I'm mopping up whatever he left behind. Do y'all live in that area? Yeah, I do. Sarah has to commute. A little bit. There's a native word, uh, malechuk. It means dead fish. Thank you guys for the follows. What length limit on the lobster? 
three inches on the carapace. Here we go. We got a wiener. That one? Yeah. Okay. Oi! My goal for Show today grass. is not to fall. Not to get We are pulling the rest of the lobster traps and taking them back in today. Gotta get off this flat. Birds are standing. That's bad news for me. That means I gotta lift traps higher to get to the dock. But the canal water's been super high. Mm -hmm. Love your overalls, Sarah. Thank you. I thought bibs would be too hot today. No, I'm comfortable. Are you? I am. This is what I wore the first time I came and threw traps with you. Was it really? Yeah, I wore my overalls. Aww. These are specifically the fishing overalls. Super attractive, right? Where's the other deckhand? He's been busy. All the shorts getting evicted. Little stone crab. Might be legal. Hey, just barely. So get it and get out. Yeah, I'm gonna try to spin around so it's easier for you to get. Appreciate it. There's like a little pocket in the flat. Michelle got us a new gaff. Thank you, Michelle. It's very nice and shiny. And not underwater. How long do you think my arms are? You 
go, girl. Thank you. Lots of lobsters. They look very short. It's the most bizarre creature you've pulled up. Fucking Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> Basket starfish are pretty weird. That's a toadfish. They're pretty bizarre. They actually make a sound that's audible underwater. And they have a nice toxic slime to them, too. The toadfish? Oh, yeah. It's probably going to be one of the only things that can survive the summer out here this year. They're tough. They're an ambush predator that likes to hang out on the flat. Barely short. Clear? sure I counted you know how did we come up one lobster short how could this happen how could it happen did the next afternoon going to pull the vehicle out there's a lobster walking through the garden on a mission so we looked it up apparently they can survive for up to seven days out of the water yeah. Found the lobster, picked it up, took it upstairs. It got eaten. Eaten. Didn't work out for him. Didn't work out for him. It was a good escape attempt. Yeah, the book we found that data in said that a long time ago they used to actually come up on the shore and scavenge a little bit. But now the inshore water quality, the tide line is not change a little bit. But now the inshore water quality, the tide line is not. Uh, all, all my eels get sold. One point three K aboard the legit with us right now. Awesome. We are looking for lobster trap. I, I am giving away a sticker, a legit sticker, uh tonight for subscribers.
subscribers. If you want to be in on that action, just hit the subscribe button and you're in. Do you have a deckhand sticker to throw in there or do you I, need more? I probably do. Okay. Throw a deckhand sticker in there and if I'll you need more, I got in. more in the car. I'll throw one in. There you guys go. A legit sticker and a deckhand sticker. Crab trap. Crab trap. We're looking for ones that got duckers on the top of them. Woohoo giveaway tonight. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, Stacy. And if I find a little shell, I'll throw a shell in there with it. Oh, uh, don't tell me that's me. That looks blue. Way the hell back there. On oh. That looks like me. Yeah, I saw the blue ones, but now I see the orange one. Which country are you? Depends on who you ask. I'll say it's the Conquer Republic. United States. America. Conquer Republic. Green Night Live. Green Light Night Live. That's a tongue twister. Green light, night life. Say that three times fast. No. So we're pulling traps, but sometimes late at night, Jesse sits out on the dock and watches fish with a submerged green light. So you guys see how the water kind of changes color. It goes from this nice greenish turquoise that's muddy and not very clear to that brown. That is very shallow water. Those are flats. So we can't get up on the flat. That would be bad. It is lobster. Grab and go. Yeah, we're right in the... Okay. And we're in the middle of the... Thank you for the rose. No, Heather Octopus, I met the, the pointy part of the gaff with my hand on that one. Whoa! Angel and a Jewfish. Good angel. Let's get that angel in there. Nice. Beautiful. Woo. And this guy. Went in there for snacks. Goliath grouper, they're federally protected. Ugh. Federally protected species. They can get up to like seven or eight hundred pounds. 
They actually inhale their food. That's, that's why he was in there. He was eating. Probably just puked that up. They literally like inhale their food. They create a massive vacuum suction. You just dropped a spider crab on the deck. This is my favorite kind of crab right here. Jesse says I'm wrong, but they're super cool. Not really eaten in our part of the world. There are only marine crab that can move this way and not just laterally. Check out the spider crab. Say bye bye spider crab. We're drifting pretty bad. Crab. You guys are seeing all the crabs today. These guys make great bait, especially if you're looking to catch grouper. Baby blue crab. Very rarely do we get big ones big enough to eat. It's more of a northern Florida thing. You got another one out here? Okay. Say bye bye, baby blue crab, unless you want them. Bye bye. Sarah, stop messing with the crabs and get back to work. Why is it called a blue crab? When they are uh, more adult, they turn more blue. Blue and red. Why? Why not wearing any life jackets? Um. Ooh, this guy's growing a claw back. There's spider crab. Right. See his little nub? Life jackets are for pansies. Okay. We are in pretty shallow water right now, and we are pretty close to the main island chain. There are life jackets on board, per regulations. These are short lobsters getting evicted. So before we put the traps up, Jesse is cleaning the line. He's scraping off any algae or growth on the line to help the line last longer. Then the buoy actually goes inside the trap so that they're easy to stack. Do you clean the traps you are bringing in before they go back out? They dry out. And all of that marine growth kind of becomes like a, a crusty dust.
right, go. Light bulb gone, then pull up. later problem. Many people out there pulling traps. Most fishermen already have their traps on shore. We are late. I'm going to set you guys down for just a minute. My apologies. Enjoy a crooked view for just a moment. End of March. Do you have different traps for what you're trying to catch? Yes. So these are spiny lobster traps. They are primarily pine wood with wire on the either side. They have two sections of poured concrete and they are these big rectangles. Stone crab traps are primarily made out of plastic. They are square and have a solid concrete bottom. Jesse also has a couple of bait traps that he'll use during the summertime. When does lobster season end? Today is really the last day for us to get gear out of the water, guys end of the month. Drew has been busy, so he has not been around as much. Lobster season officially ends March 31st, but it's Easter tomorrow, so the fish house will be closed. Zookeeper, thank you! Another Sarah! Aw, thank you for the confetti! I'm a Sarah too. Thank you guys for the follows. Stone crab is going for another month. And then stone crab is done. We got April to fish stone crab as soon as the last lobster trap is out of the water. Stone crab starts coming out of the water. Jesse's got 500 stone crab traps we're gonna have to take back up and in. You can call me Zoo. Okie dokie. stone crab traps. 100 lobster, five to 600 stone crab traps. That's a lot of traps. But thankfully this year Jesse got a forklift and we got pallets. So it's going to be easier to stack than by hand. You're going to need a bigger boat. There is a bigger boat. She's just not ready to go yet. That's going to be one of my off-season jobs is painting the new boat. Entropy. Sarah, how long have you been doing this with Jesse? So I had to go back and look because we get that question all the time. 
the first time I threw stone crab traps with Jesse was in October of 22. So opening of stone crab season, uh, this will be the end of my second season working with Jesse. I've known him since springtime of 22. What color are you gonna paint her? So you see the numbers on the bow and you see the buoy? Guess who paints that? My mama used to paint boats and now I paint boats. Thank you guys for the follows. Lots of follows. This is Jesse's page. I help him out with his live streams. If you want to go check out my page, it's the underscore deckhand. It'll be a pink crab that says Sarah as the profile picture. Wow, it's very fast. So the legit can go 22 knots. How many traps? 100 lobster traps in total. We got one more line that has to come out of the water. Looks like we are not going back to the dock in between this line and the next line. Jesse is originally from Alaska. He relocated to the Keys about 10 years ago. I thought we were. We are not heading to the dock. We are heading to our next line. Thank you guys for the follows. Is the season over? Lobster season is coming to a close in less than 48 hours. Stone crab remains open to the end of April. Good morning to you too. How do y'all keep track of where the traps are? So just like you get to know your neighborhood, you get to know the areas of water. And Jesse has places that he likes to set traps. He kind of pre-plots, pre-plans, and then they're set in a line. So he keeps track of it all in his head. And then after you pull the same line, like I helped throw these lines and then we pulled these lines all season, you know where they are. GPS only on, like, occasionally. And then the traps can move during storms too. Where are you going to the next line of lobster traps to the south? Right now we are in Florida Bay. We're gonna be crossing over into the Atlantic Ocean. that way my boy how shallow is it this area ranges what 10 to 20 feet what does jesse do after stone crab a lot of gear work and a lot of prep work for the next season he's got multiple gigs too gotta make money somehow to live in paradise I take it during the season y'all pull traps daily or do they soak longer? No, it depends on the type, time of year. Uh, definitely not daily, maybe weekly, sometimes bi-weekly. Sometimes they soak longer. It really depends on how the weather's been, how the catch has been. I'll see Jesse dancing when I said he's got multiple gigs.
Yep. That's my gay for Pacey's. Your what? Gay for Pacey's. Okay. Pole dancing, Chatty Kathy ass. You should do it. You have quite a female following on here. I got, I, I got the track throwing hips. You do. I had to stop. There might be something in it. Message to the bottle. I need a net. Uh, live well. You want me over here? <laughs> Dab man said, I'm done. With the gay for pay comment. He's so bad. Dollar. What do you think's in there? Algae. Maybe, yeah. Pretty green. Planet saved. Is stone crab season done? No, we got another month. Lobster season is all but done. All right. Back to your normally scheduled programming. Pulled a mylar balloon out of the water earlier. It said happy birthday. Thank you for the hand hearts, Heather B. Woo woo. Thank you, thank you. orangey red but we don't get blue ones this is a different species of lobster it is more closely related to a crawfish can I get a tail with my steak depends on where you order it from Brooklyn New York on board with us I love that legit crew is like so friendly with each other. Everybody's like, hi, 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 hi. San Diego, California, Massachusetts. be calmer on the ocean side. Please. It's definitely picking up and getting more white cappy out here. Do y'all get spiny lobsters? Yes. That is what these traps are for. Spiny lobster season ends at the end of March. Aw, thank you, Stacy. 
Stacy pins my handle if you want to follow me, see a different perspective. Jesse has been talking about maybe doing charters in the future. Trapping charters, especially with the new boat. I'll pay. So another option is Jesse does have his GoFundMe page for the new boat. Um, if you make a contribution there, you are automatically uh, invited to a cookout on the reef on the new vessel. And the top contributor actually gets to stay at an Airbnb in addition to the cookout. So if you want to come hang out with us, that's one way you can come hang out with us. level on this is guys so if we suddenly cut out um, we'll come back up but I'm gonna plug you guys in here when we get to next spot bridge and the next line is on the other side. This is cool. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for joining us. Your dream job? Hard work on a sticky boat? We do have other people fishing in the same area, but it is a small community. Everybody kind of knows everybody. It's not as competitive as you might think it would be. Most everyone has their gear out of the water. We are late in the game. Today's really the last day to pull gear because tomorrow's Easter and the fish house is closed. We are in the United States, as far south as you can drive in the continental United States, Florida. The Florida Keys. Anna Maria Island, driving by car, four hours. the cars driving over the bridge. to tarpon season so a lot of people are fishing under the bridges oh. what oh. why you mean 
Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Jesse's teasing me. He knows like where I like to fish and he calls it the slums. Some Caspian terns hanging out on the old railroad bridge there. You can see a few vessels out here, probably fishing for tarpon. Tarpon like to hang out by the bridges and we are coming into season for tarpon right now. Everybody's looking for that big game catch. Different resort there now. Postcard in. Is that the Holiday Isle? Yeah. Okay. I can't remember what the new name was. Do you want to switch to this when we switch to battery pack? I don't care what you want to do. I'm asking you. What you running it, oh, jeez, Louise. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm gonna play with the battery pack. If I leave it on this, I'll just leave it up there. But if we want to like view comments, we can put it on selfie mode right here, and you can talk to the people. Whatever. Okay, you want to set up your thing? I know! I'm going to set you guys down for a minute. I apologize. I apologize, I apologize. I'm getting you plugged into the battery pack. It's gonna get really noisy for a minute while I take the microphone cover off. went bad. It's down to a low percent battery. It's on. Charging. It just flashed charging. Okay. I apologize guys. I'm trying to get the microphone cover back on. You want to do your little do dad? Does it just slide? It's stretchy. How about like this? Here, look at Jesse. I can't see the screen. Well, I'm telling them to look at oh. you. Hold? No. No? It's work. Oh, sugar.
this? Yes. Yeah, we gotta level this bitch out some. Okay. I'm shoving this up in here because I'm afraid I'm gonna miss the live well if I try anything. Right. How are you gonna get them four high? Huh? Well, it helps when you go 
how, how long without pulling the goddamn straps. Can you fix that rope? What, which rope? Oh, I got it. here on the port side. Dude's got some money, huh? Try to move you guys over so you can see a little more. Should we do a count on them? One legal keeper. Two keeper. Short, short, two, three. Four shorts, two keepers. Three keepers. So four. Five shorts. Six shorts, seven. Eight. Four keepers, nine, ten shorts, Ooh. five keepers, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty lobsters in that trap, guys. Five keepers? Five keepers, 20 lobsters. That's not bad. It's a goddamn good trap. That is not bad. I might pay for the fuel yet. Mmm.
table. That's weird. Oh, Jesse, it just broke at the base. The entire lever on the trigger just popped out. No, I just saw this piece pop out of that hole. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh, okay. I don't know. You know what I mean? How many years have I had this goddamn boat? Never had problems with that. It certainly is acting weird. That's the one thing that's been different. I know. It, sorry, it seems to pop out weird, like violently so. Uh, center, then move it over. What do you think? Or just, just stack it, yeah, I don't know. Listing hard. You want me to start throwing them up here and move them back? Yeah, that's me too. Oh, we got lots more traps. One short. Spider crab. Spider crab. Two shorts. Spider crab. Three keepers. Short. Short. Incoming pelican. Center, what are you thinking? Or you want me to go 
I don't know, because you're having a hard time moving them. Yeah. Like, you should be stacking over here, too. Um, wh whatever. Then I'm going to have a hard time gaffing. You don't need to stack four high on the boat. Okay. On the dock you do. So you can move that one over and we'll do we'll do three across the front. One or two here, one on the table. Be fine. Okay. That's not too bad of a list. Yeah. Oh, it sucks, yeah. We gotta get it done. Hey. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So where's the next one gonna go? Start Start where you're standing. Okay. And if you can't squeeze between the bulkhead and the trap, then you just stay back here. All right. Gonna be a full boat going home. Oh no, there's lots more. Oh, That's why we're knocking all these out that we can at one time. Make it as few trips as possible. You think we'll get them all on this trip? No. Not even close. I thought this was the last spot. It is. But it was a good spot, so I moved a bunch of traps over here earlier this year. Thing is 10 or 12 others. One short, two short, three short, four short, five. All the way back. There? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fucked. The whole trigger's fucked. I saw that little uh, bolt pop out and I was like, hang on. Yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> Good thing we've got a hardware store in town now. Merchantile. Mm -hmm. There's always something breaking. 
like entropy. The trap table, my spine, something. Right. I don't care where you put it. You're gonna have to figure that shit out. So up and on top of this one.
What do you think? Two more? Fix your table. Two more. boat full of wet lobster traps. Let's Let wake the wave. shit out of them. Let me wave at them. One more after this. He got it. And it's a long ride home. And then I get to pee because there's no way I'm going to be able to unload these without peeing. Um, 1, 2, 9, 11, 12, 13, this will make 14. back and look at that picture from when we threw these because I thought it was 17 it may have been more because we went poor high they were dry I know sit it right it right there on end. on end Good news. You're gonna take it easy on me on this one? This one you don't have to move. Yeah, but you're gonna take it easy on me? What do you mean? Like, it don't come much soon. Scratch my brand new gaff. You told me to throw it wherever. Jesse's laughing, you just can't see it. I told him I was afraid to do, use the brand new gas. And he goes, but you don't drop shit. I was like, don't jinx me. Triggerfish love lobster legs. One short. Two short. Three short. Four short. Bye. Yeah, triggerfish. Is he missing his? No, he just hadn't deployed it. Go a little more towards you. There you go. Trigger fish. Look at those teeth.
A bunny? A rhino bunny? It's a goby. A goby? Isn't that cute? So pretty. Alright. Okay. I do with our tripod. Figure this out, guys. Because you guys are plugged in, it kind of limits our mobility. Sorry, I wasn't able to read comments and stuff, but I'm going to show you how full this deck is. Probably unplug it though. Sarah's not driving, Sarah's doing heavy lifting. So we got 15 total traps on board. Oh, you sent all the roses. That's so sweet. Thank you. I'll tell you what, it is hard moving traps when you gotta pee. How much did the crab craft weigh? Any keeper lobsters for the last day? Yes, a surprising amount of keeper lobsters. We actually have the live well going, which is weighing us down a little bit more. I'll show you guys that. Sorry, I gotta get your plug. See, you're plugged in. Look at them lobsters. We almost got a basket full. That's good news. We like a basket full of lobsters. Jesse even said at the beginning of the day, he didn't think we would get one legal lobster today. I said, we'll get one. We'll get at least one. Thank you guys. I told Jesse, I got to pee before we unload these traps. There's no way I'm hucking these up onto a dock with a full bladder. Is that a good haul in general or not? Nah? Uh, we'd like to see a pound per trap. Some of these traps have been over the average, but on the base side, like the last set that we pulled, it was all shorts. I don't think we pulled one legal lobster on the base side. Oceanside has been productive today for sure. They said, Jesse, Jesse, he's the man. When he can't do it, Sarah can. Wow. <laughs> he smiled, but he did go. I can't do this. This is a terrible idea. You should not do this. I will. If he starts to lift a lobster trap, I'm going to scream at him. And I don't, I don't really yell at Jesse, but I don't want him hurt again. He, to go through all of that and then get hurt again? No, it's not worth the risk. Not worth the price of admission. Thank you, Sarah, for helping, Jesse. I'm trying my best. Tina, I got off of 48 this morning. I slept maybe three hours last night. No lifting, Jesse, damn it. That's right, he needs to listen to you. Stacy says she'll yell at you too if you try to lift a trap. Heather B says we all will. All the girls are ganging up on you, bro. He says he's innocent. He has been good. Like, he hasn't even tried to lift a fuel can. He sent me for fuel this morning. Like, just getting the yard organized. He didn't, he's, he's limited at 20 pounds. A payfair sub right now. That's on my way home. But Darlene said, damn it, Jesse. Oh. Oh. 
He says no. <laughs> he doesn't like that. My, my, how the trap table has turned. He's smiling, guys. I will admit, I haven't seen Jesse smile this much in a hot minute. Except for when you put food in front of him. He does not like the girls ganging up on him, that's for sure. Oh. A little bit? Apparently, he likes it a little bit. Y'all, when we get back to dock, I'm going to give you to Jesse and I'm going to run away. My bladder is full. Maybe, lol. Have you ever tried Hideaway Cafe? You know what? I need to. That's on the island that I live on. I need to. I like the, uh, what is it? The Buzzard's Roost just kind of hidden away back there. And uh, what's the other one back there? Shipwrecks. Shiprocks has really good chicken wings, man. Give him a nudge when you have the chance. Like literally or figuratively? He's got this like gorilla pod, twisty bendy thing. Yeah, I lived in Tab and I'm ready to move back. I'm up in Key Largo, so I gotta drive. 20, 30 minutes to get down here. You love chicken wings? Dude, Keys Bite, they have these amazing sweet Thai chili chicken wings. Oh, buddy. But my brother, if you've been on the lives for a minute, y'all have uh, seen and heard my brother. He makes chicken wings, like old school, fries them, makes his own buffalo sauce with butter. Amazing! Dylan's Jamaican Jerk Wings. Oh, Dylan's Pub there? Sweet Thai Chili at Keys Bite in Key Largo. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to adjust this thing so y'all can look at the water a little more. I know y'all want to see Jesse. 1.9K aboard the commercial fishing vessel, the legit. Today is the last day of lobster season for us. We are late in the game. We are pulling gear. We got lobster traps stacked on deck. Three high, a total of 15. Taking these back to the dock and then hopefully just one more run. Thank you guys for all the follows. Jesse really appreciates the follows, the likes, all the support you guys show. And I'm going to do a shameless self-promotion. If you want to check out my perspective, head on over to the underscore deckhand. That's my page here on the Tiki Talk. From Sebastian, what's the water temp? Been curious what's going on with the sawfish. Yeah, JD, it's really sad. We saw the spinning fish on our shrimping live when we went out dip netting. And that was before it really was publicized. And we were like, what the heck is going on? We thought they were cold stunned. And then all these sawfish are having bad days. It's not good. It's not a good sign for the fishery. It's not a good sign. Definitely indicative of poor water quality, but what exactly is it? People have thrown cicatera out there. They're saying that they're doing uh, testing, but they don't have the results back yet. It's definitely writing on the wall in terms of how well the fishery is doing. We were concerned about it being hot again this summer. We had world record breaking water temps here in the Florida Keys and it killed off a lot of tropicals. Hi, j -Rod. That's right, my page is the underscore deckhand.
because of climate change. Well, I mean, the warm water may be part of it, but also, like, with algae growth and pollutants, it's going to drive the water temperature up, too. And they're also in the middle of a restoration project on the drainage for the Everglades. They're actually going to stop some drainage one direction on the Okeechobee, because the Okeechobee flows down through the Everglades, and the Everglades is like a filtration system. But you got big sugar up there, and that water needs to be purified before it's released. Water level's too high in the Everglades right now. That's right, Heather B., the deckhand, that's me. Jesse doesn't 
really look at it um, like day to day or week to week. He looks at the season as total. Hang on, somebody wants to do... Bathrooms will be closed, lol. How many traps left? One more run, but I gotta get all 15 of these up onto the dock. Was it a good or a bad season? We can ask Jesse his opinion. Um, I don't think it was horribly productive for lobster. They definitely walked offshore because of the hot water. I do not think we averaged a pound per trap every single time. There were some really bad days in there where we came back with a handful of lobster and nothing else. to do 
do all the muscle work today I do. How many traps she ran? 100 spiny lobster traps and over 500, 5 to 600 stone crab traps. Is that place up for sale, the one that's always empty? No. No? Is stone crab like Jonah crab? Oh boy, crabs. Yeah, they kind of look alike, but stone crab got them claws. They taste a lot better than the Jonah crabs. But he likes his main lobster more than ours, right? Obviously. That angelfish is doing good. It's swimming laps around the baskets. You want to find him a friend? Somebody said everything's for sale at the right price. It's true. Sea Slug wants to know how your back's feeling. That he feels all right. I gotta get his lapel mics. I used to lobster fish off of Nova Scotia and crab in the summer. Very cool. We didn't have a lot of uh, fishermen pop up from Nova Scotia in our lives, actually. Nova Scotia. The bathroom is getting closer. That's right, there is a subscriber giveaway tonight. Jesse does a weekly subscriber giveaway for a sticker. I'll show you what the sticker looks like. This is what the sticker looks like. The legit sticker. And I told him to throw a deck hand sticker in there as well for tonight. So the only way to be entered is to subscribe to Jesse's live. He does a weekly giveaway. Legit sticker? Right there. Then you get to use cool stickers too in the chat. All them cool stickers. Lobster, Porter, Jesse sitting on the bow, free flight home, green light sticker. 
36 out of 50 subscribers. Porterweed, cat. Cat and porter are the best. Yeah. You know what's funny is Porter will actively block the cat from coming to see me. <gasps> Big bird turn! Uh, we've been on for a couple hours. We're hauling lobster gear in. Don't worry, Big Bird Turd. He'll put it up on YouTube, too. Season over for lobster, yeah. Why are all the other boats out of the water? So they put them on lifts so that they don't um, grow stuff on the bottom. When they just sit in the water, it ruins the bottom paint. You get all sorts of stuff growing on there. Spiny lobster season runs from August through end of March. But tomorrow's Easter. I'm tired. I just got off a long shift this morning. Jesse seems happier today. He's in his happy place. Says he's not hurting. He is on a weight restriction. You all done know we gotta unload these 15 and then go back out to that line and get the rest of them. Sometimes the notifications work and sometimes they don't. I do too. 48 and then came straight here. Hopefully one more trip. We're in Isla Mirada, Don. I'm sorry? Something about Porter. You're glad Porter doesn't do that. Porter is so friendly. He's so good, dude. Stay safe, guys. Appreciate that. That dog is mad at something. Yeah, there were two dogs on that dock and they were just barking up a storm. Thirty-seven subscribers. What other type of work do you do? I think it's just a general question. Sweetie Pie just subscribed. In order to live in paradise, you gotta have a lot of gigs going on to make money to live here, guys. So, Jesse's got a few gigs, I got a few gigs. That's how it goes. Two new subs. Rock on. So, Sweetie Pie was one. Who was the other sub? Becca and Sweetie Pie. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Lobsters. Lobster? Sergeant Reb says, wish I could work for Jesse. Fishing line.
I see it. It looks like it may have. I lost sight of it. They're asking if they get to see the new boat. Is it higher than it was or did it drop? That in the corner right there is the new boat. says they like the new gaff. Well, hell yeah. New gaff is from Michelle. Michelle, if you're in there, thank you so much. Now that's a parallel parker, Jordy says. <laughs> he said, now that's a parallel parker. And, uh, we got all sorts of weight on board. Jesse's doing real good. The wind is dragging it. I just flipped this up. The live well's running. You mind if I run in and go pee? Did you say go? Go. Going.
Come back. I'm sorry? Three high. Got it. Crisscross them? Okay. Let's go, Sarah. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this part, but bladder is now empty, so that is good. I'm gonna try to tilt you guys a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Awesome, I'm not gonna be able to talk to you guys for a minute because I have to get traps.
Tangan. What? I said Jesse just pulled up with the forklift. Oh, you're on top. you reach, the harder it's going to be.
Yeah, but the lean back. have one of these about the forklift. He just said, can you believe they let me have one of these about the forklift? One more. 92K, you guys rock. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. I got two traps I gotta put on a pallet over there real quick. And then there's one more on the tail that's like this against the concrete so I can't I put the boat in gear.
great. Can't say I'm not surprised. Or I can't say I'm surprised. I'm not surprised it happened. All right, let's get y'all going a little bit different here. I got one more trap to unload. Jesse's tooling around on the forklift. Jesse. Yep. This way up here. Yep. Will you sell me some lobster if I go there? Oh, uh, I can't. He, he has to sell to a fish house, guys. So it threw a charging error, Jesse. Something about liquid on the lightning cable. So I'm gonna take this off. How do I tell? The phone's hot. How do I tell? The phone's hot. Uh, the, the rabbits. Thing? I'm so over the rabbits, it's not funny. Sorry, y'all. Okay. What? We're actually doing good on you. Yeah? Yeah, for the, the short run we got left. We don't need to fuel up? Does Jesse ever keep any of the lobster for himself? He doesn't like to, no. It's not his favorite food. He likes mutton. Snapper. Mutton snapper. One more run, guys, and then we will be done. We're going to finish that last line we were at. Woohoo! 100K on the lights, Jesse. He said, nice.
What were you gonna say, Jesse? I think she was just being funny. Ha ha funny. There's truth in some of those statements, though. What? I mean, if they were doing good catch and stuff, she wouldn't say something like that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sure, it's hard fishing right now. It is. I'm sure. You are an incredible woman, Sarah. I'm just talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah MVP. You guys are so sweet. I got a cheerleading squad on here. I really do. You're not. Know, Paul Drew up telling me he's pansy. You don't. That could be a TikTok issue. <sighs> bullying, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be bullying? Probably. Or it could be considered hate speech, I think, because it's... How is the man? Healing? Question mark? Getting better every day. He's going light duty. You should have heard him while you were putting traps on the dock. I should have heard Jesse when I was putting traps on the dock. He was coaching me. I have bulging discs in my lower back and I'm not sure that the whole lean back thing. Mm. Oh, new goal, Sarah. Thank you. I will give you a new goal. 20 of 20 hand hearts, my goodness. I thought that was gonna take you guys a while to do. Apparently not. I thought wrong. I thought wrong. Last round of the day, guys. It does not want to load live, live gifts right now for me to send new goal. For whatever reason. Tiny dinies. We haven't done those in a while. I love tiny dinies. Put some tiny dinies on the board. When will Jesse be going back out fishing? Right now. Right now. We're on our way out right now. Do you fish year round? Uh. Less so in the summer because most of my fisheries are closed. Um, sometimes bait in the summer. Yeah, I'll run bait in the summer sometimes. Uh, you know, I don't expect that to be very productive this year. But uh, you never know. We'll see how things turn out. Thank you for the rose, Minnie. Ooh, a rose. It smells like shit. Sometimes I think it's just a game to see, like, what we're going to get banned for. Woof, woof. I mean, I can put some more effort in. Mm-mm. I think, like, you had enough little violations here and there today. Really? Yeah. Happy Easter, Jeremy. <sighs> Sarah tired. Yeah, it's not fun. So there will be less lives during the summer, question mark? Um, there won't be any trapping lives, if that's what you mean, until August. Um, so after stone crab closes, I'm not going to have any commercial gear in the water. Uh, there's a possibility I might be getting a snapper grouper permit for the new boat. If that's the case, then I'll be out, uh snapper fishing on the reef woo -woo. we'll see how that goes I, I don't know yet cross your fingers y'all it's a lot of money there's a lot of money involved in all this bullshit and i have basically none so uh, it's a it's a challenge to keep moving forward you alls support does help with the live gifts and oh, then yeah. also the gofundme big time in order to get the boat the gofundme We'll help with that. We'll help with that. But we know we're near hit the goal for the GoFundMe. 
No, that's, that's not realistic. If you do contribute to the GoFundMe, there is a thing on there saying we'll invite you to a barbecue on the reef. On the new on boat. On the reef, not like that. Not like that, like on the reef. Again, we're kind of anti-social uh, butterflies. Beth wants me to keep the camera on Jesse. I'm going to have to go sit down, so. Yeah, the lens is encrusted with. I have a wipe if you want to wipe. Okay. Oh, hang on. There we go. All right, I'm going to go sit down because we're going to get up on plane. What? Better than it was earlier when we went north. Yes, sir. You want to hold this for a minute or no? Here. Let me open the scupper real quick. Very well. All right. Oh, hey, Shelby. Shelly, thank you for the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are great. Like that movie Jurassic Park. Uh, cowboys, no, we are not related. We, we are not relation. Got it? Supper is open. I didn't pull the plug then. I'm afraid I might forget it. There we go, I got it. fishery is very highly regulated the traps have like a two-page document outlining the specification for them from measurements to materials to the exact amount of concrete that's to be poured in the bottom of them so it is very heavy heavily regulated as to what kind of trap how it's built what materials are used and all we're in the florida keys Yeah, 
Uh, Jesse likes to say this is the most heavily regulated fishery in the world. He's not wrong. The rules, there's a bunch of them. And they're very strict. Love this part of the ride. Tongue hanging out, ears flapping in the wind. see some people pull their pots in there's no concrete I guess that's for different crab yeah it's probably a different species so the stone crab have a solid concrete core in the bottom and the lobster have two different sections of concrete at either end of it that keeps the makes the trap sink bottom down so the chute is up and the critters can climb in it also there's different kinds of traps for inshore versus offshore red and white flag we have an orange and white buoy look at that yacht Is Jesse considered a commercial fisherman? He is a commercial fisherman. This is a commercial fishing vessel. Up there on the left side, the port side, that is, so you're legally required to have, when you're commercial, your numbers displayed at a certain size specification, and then that's what his buoy looks like. So that is painted on the bow so it's visible from the air. I think the buoy has to be 20 inches in diameter. And then the numbers have to be, I think it's 12 inches, 10 or 12 inches tall. So we'll have to paint those on the new boat and put our name out there. Look at that yacht, y'all. No need to apologize, we like questions. Try to answer as best we can. Could you live on that yacht, Sarah? I wish I would. giveaway every week and he posts the that on his story thank 
you guys for the follows. Thank you for all the likes, all the support. Really appreciate you guys. I'm getting some cloud cover now. Good to see y'all back on the water. It's nice to be back. Jesse and I were talking earlier. It's been a long time since it's just been like me and him since before he got hurt and saw a surgeon and all that stuff. That's right, my page is the underscore deck hand if you want to see a different perspective. Check out those cormorants hanging out on the power pole. It's the old railroad bridge, the lower one, and the highway is the higher one. Does this pay decent or is it just a side gig? This is Jesse's primary gig, but he does have other gigs in order to live in paradise, it is expensive. So to live independent, you gotta have multiple things going on. placed in his cervical spine. Where is Dr. Drew? Did something happen to him? He's just been busy. How many trips can you have? How many traps? As many as you buy tags for. So you buy a tag, which is the right to own a trap and commercially fish it. And that is a certain price that you pay every year for that tag. So as many as you can afford, there's not really a limit, it comes down to monetary. trips. I thought you might mean traps. So yeah, as many tags as you own. This way, if you want to flip it to selfie mode so you can at least see the screen. Nah, Justin, it's all good, man. It doesn't matter. Like, I, I wasn't expecting to get anything today. At all. scuppers or holes in the back of the boat that allow the water to escape. Season's done, Robert. This is it. These are the last traps of the season right now.
I don't know what I'm going to do this summer. I won't have anything to complain about. What's that mean? I have plenty of shit to complain about this year. Oh, my neck! Was your neck bothering you over the summer? Ejaculate on my nose. It's not ejaculate, it's its digestive system. So that's a sea cucumber. It is an animal, and we used to use them as squirt guns as kids. If you squeeze them, they'll expel the water from their digestive tract. You touched it in just the right way when it was pointed at your face. I didn't even get $20. <laughs> Let's just stack these up front there, the, the nine, okay. right? Fix your table. No, no sharks. Yeah, they're wooden traps. They're made of American pine. Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect to make any money today. I expected to lose a lot of money today because it's bringing in gears expensive. It's we're not supposed to wait until the last day to do this shit. Shit should have been done weeks ago, but uh, circumstances being what they are, I'm just glad it's getting done. That's what matters. Daddy next season. Yeah. Real quick. So much shit. 
get on these ropes. New boat is getting a rope cleaner. That's a thing? Oh yeah. They use uh, recycled tire material to make them. Just friction on the line to clean it. And it's like a, it's like it does what my hand does, but you know, without using my hand. Thanks for a dirty comment here. I just, you know, throw some low hanging fruit out there for everybody to enjoy. Uh, we use a gauge. We use this. They need to be three inches long on top to be legal. Normally during the season, we just leave the shorts in the trap to draw in the bigger lobsters. Uh, but when the season's over, we're bringing all the traps out of the water, so everything goes back in. Yeah, they, they increased uh, the size on stone crab here a couple of years ago. Uh, it took about, God damn it. What? Yeah, yeah, I can't hear it. Yeah. They're more gooder. More gooder. Let me cinch this out. Yeah, it's windy. The water doesn't look that rough, but it's windy. Sarah, don't stack them straight up on that one side. Move them, move them out. You want me to grab this one first? Yeah. And Just set this one in the center. Yeah. So much nicer with that forklift, right? For you. Oh, I mean, we can just park it, park at the dock, and you can pack them across the property again if you want. I'll just load them onto the dock and be like, "Hi." Will the bolt from the switch fit on that, or the nut? No. Basically, you just have to jiggle the handle. You gotta get lucky with it for it to actually come out. That's what she said? Oh. Nice crab. Yeah, that's a nice one.
Sarah. Yeah, me too. Oh, uh, table. Yep. <laughs> I am not repeating that at all. I am not going to read that out loud. What was it? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Not a thing. Nothing. <laughs> was it big jobs? No. Really? No. Uh. They think they're funny. They think they're funny? They think they're funny. Are they poking fun at me? No. Okay. Nice. Somebody took a chunk out of this one, huh? Jesus. I don't get a lot of cutoffs here, you know? Well. Don't worry, we'll tell her later. Yeah, Stacy, send me a message. Somebody send me a message and tell me what was said. Someone with some unrealistic expectations. Crab. More crab in there than lobster. Yeah, there's a shitload of crabs in here. Looks like I've already caught most of them. There's one that's, there he is. Guy. Oh look! Oh, it's cracked. It's already healed. It's all deformed. Yeah. Oh, make sure you. Oh yeah, they can't see. See this? Uh, he lo it got crunched in a fight, and it's healed. So it's not really a functioning claw anymore, but it is there. Bonkers, huh? We're gonna see if his other claw works. Ooh. Sucks to be him. <laughs> Throw him back and freshly cracked. Ooh, nice claw. Yeah. Nice claw. product. I'm a commercial fisherman. Of course I take those claws. Of course. Am I good to put this too high in the center? Alright. How's that sound? Even better, right? I'm sorry? Even better, right? Yeah. Boy, he was just putting my traps way the fuck out in the channel. Are we in the... We are in the channel, aren't we? Yeah, markers way the hell over there. It's counterintuitive. Bowie's right all the way over there. The storms may have moved them a little bit. I'm trying to give some benefit of the doubt, Jesse. That guy's traps are still there. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, he's not here. 
How come I missed the funny stuff? Uh, At least you guys got Jesse smiling. Yeah, it's your shit's hilarious. Say my words, Jesse. Michelle. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Have you seen that trend that's like, say the weird thing? Oh, God, yeah, I've seen that. I can see you doing one of those. Say it, say it. What was it? And then it triggers when right. you don't want it. Right. Unpinned a comment. Love the Holy There's some big shit. ones, dude. Nice Jesse, you're gonna have to treat her to a spa day after this. Is that what they were saying? Look at the fucking lobsters in here. I can't even hear you right now looking at these lobsters. Wait. The girl gang's ganging up on you. Spa day for you. Yes. Aww. Fucking See, hogs. See, think that you should send me to a spa. Fucking hogs. That's a two pound lobster. Yeah. Show it to the camera, dude. Yeah. That is a thing of beauty. It's a nice lobster. That is a very nice lobster. And there was twins in there. Twin alpha lobsters? Yep. Spa day. Spa day. Spa Another good day. One. So I got an ear infection. I can't even utilize my home spa right now because I got an ear infection while diving for Jesse's gaff that put me on a commission for a while and almost ruptured my eardrum. That's how bad it was. And I am banned from using my outdoor shower right now. So I can't even use my home spa when I get home. Spa day, spa day. Sounds like you're, you're trying to say s spaghetti? Spaghetti day? Is that what How you're saying? How about food? Spaghetti day? You should buy me food. Want a Ziploc bag full of spaghetti for your, your pocket? Mmm. Pocket full of spaghetti. I love that the girl game. No, no, Stacy. She got uh, an ear infection for Drew. For the gap. It was for the gap. Right. Got it? Hi. Does this please you? It's all right. Stacy's mad at you or something. Everybody's mad at me all the fucking time. I'm gonna time. owe you after this one. Jesse didn't mean to start this. Look at the purple sponge. Jesse thought I had a brain eating amoeba. Do you want to turn off the light bulb? Yeah. Huh. That shit's going hard, huh? I'm she still, said, I'm still not convinced you don't have a brain eating amoeba. I might, but it would have manifested by now. That's what I'm saying. I mean, we know I have short term memory loss. Uh, there's a lot of weed on that.
tiger crab. That's a big one. She said. I knew it. I set you up for that. You're welcome. I like those softball pitches. You're welcome. Come here. Show that bad boy out. It's a nice crab. There's uh there's no commercial market for these, but a buddy of mine is gonna eat it. So that one's coming. People do eat them, mostly I, overseas. Yeah, I don't. I don't like messing with them. Where do you think I should put this one? What one? This trap. Here? On top of there? Yeah, I'm glad the clouds came out a little bit, yeah. blocking the sun some. But at least the temperature is nice. It's not, like, throwing traps this year was so hot. It was brutal. And I feel like last year when we were pulling lobster traps, it was already hot. Yeah. Nice, right? Yeah. Oh. It's a rate. It does not want to cooperate. Uh, you can't, you can't use those in shore. Yeah, you have to use wood. Hello, Stacy. Ouch! What's the next trap? See the next trap anywhere? That way, my boy. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, they have they have regulations on what trap materials can be used in uh, in what waters. Right, so to use the all-wire traps, you have to be fishing in uh, federal water. You can't be in state water. Which is unfortunate, because wire would be nice. Less maintenance. I see it. That's a big gap. Yeah, it's not right. Yeah, because everything's too far out. So that's why you don't put traps in the channel. I'm still going to yell at you for it. It's not my fault. Hiya. Eileen. got one uh, up in the corner too that's big. He's even bigger. It's like a legal lobster too. Hot shit. 
very surprising how many legal lobsters have come out today. Well, all the other crabs are out of the water. They got nowhere else to go. He's got a weird claw too, huh? Yeah, I got broke off in a fight. Show it. Healed over, broken off and healed over. Oh, that guy's got a club. That was a soft catch. Nice crabs. It's a beautiful claw. All the battle scars on these things they just kick the shit out of each other he was a gladiator middle again no where i'm stand where i like to stand yep. Doubled the uh, crab claws for the day out of that one trap. This was a good area this year, though. It was. This is my best set all season. <coughs> right here. Show some of the claws. I, I showed them when I was cracking them. Well, show them the big one in relation to yeah. you. You knock yeah. yourself out. Whoa. Those are all scars. Kangaroo brand is the shit. You have a kangaroo kangaroo brand? Brand. Oh. Awesome. I know there's more out here. We haven't gotten to the ducker. It got lost. Hey Joyce, thanks for the follow. Kangaroo brain. Why is everybody mad at me today? I don't understand. I like this. They're normally angry with me. This is some bullshit. I like damn it, Jesse. Not a thing? It's not a thing. It should be a thing. It's not a thing. I'll throw this phone in the ocean. <laughs> and who would that hurt? Where is my next trap? I don't see a damn thing. Let's circle around. Right. So I know I know we're missing traps. Maybe back towards the flat a little more. Yeah. I think I see a mirage. I see a trap over there, a buoy over there. Yeah, but there's crabbers out here too. Yeah, but it doesn't look like yours. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. There's something see, I, up I, on the flat. When I laid these traps out, I kept them close to the flat, the edge of the flat. Exactly. And it's not where they are now. Hmm. Oh, you're complimenting me. You're complimenting Jeffrey? No, it's at table. <laughs> They're saying you need to fix the table. We we that might be it for the for the day. I, this might be it for the season. Uh, that might have been the last trap. Um. Unless we can find another one. I thought there was more out here. Is Michelle in the chat? Michelle's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is? Yeah. 
Oh, oh yeah, she's there. Did you see your gaff, Michelle? It's the finest hooker on the boat. I know I'm missing gear. That sucks. If they were in the channel, they may have gotten cut off. Yeah, Chelsea. I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. That's a fucking bummer. Michelle says, besides you. Aww. You did say earlier. What? What did I say? I don't want to repeat What it did I say, Sarah? Guidelines. You said you're coming into season. Oh, yeah. Jesse! <laughs> How did we get kicked off to that? I'm sure it's a process. Is that? Where are those solid orange? There's two like right next to each other now. Uh... Guy's killing me. You're getting yelled at. Jesse! I am Jesse. I'm yelled at a lot today. <laughs> Fuck. I'm the one that's supposed to do the yelling. Girl gang. Those aren't you. Out of control. Shit is out of control. No, not, neither of those are mine. Those are somebody else's strays. Yeah. Everybody else is gone. I think that's it. We're gonna we're gonna sweep our way up to that channel marker and if we don't see anything else, we're gonna hang it up. That's a season. Jesse, you're in trouble. Oh, thank you, Southern man. I, I appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, like I, yeah. Sometimes I'm grumpy. Sometimes I'm, no, I'm, I'm doing good. Crabby. I'm whatever. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a crustaceous motherfucker sometimes, but I, I think that just comes with running a boat. Well, they're half right. Wait, which part? You need a shovel? You can't figure that out. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, she did, Peter. She sure did. Hey, see? This dude says I'm one of the most positive people on here. See, I got references. It really pads the resume. <laughs> Remind me to send you the South Park thing about positive. It's inappropriate. Hmm. <laughs> Stacy, Steve, sit down. It's just my opinion. Sarah is definitely the most mysterious. I gotta hide my gills. Although Jesse's starting to grow one on that side. If you get in the water, it may actually develop into a functioning gill. I think that's a season. I think that, oh, there's one straight ahead. You see what I see? I sure do. As soon as you said that, I think it's the classic piece on the stern gunnel. It's, it's only a specific RPM. It makes it vibrate. Yeah. It's not just any time. How do we miss that one? It's way back here. It is. All right, let me get the gap. Get the gap. Alright, this is the last trap of the season right here. For sure. Push out, push out. For sure. This is it. We're gonna leave it on the table? Um Woo, slippery. Sure. Jackie, my arms are that long. That's not my fault. What is that? 
is that? That almost looks like a, a piece of art. Our brains went two different directions. It's not alive. Here. Yeah. Here. Scoop it. Scoop that shit. I don't know. Under the bill? That's weird, right? The fuck is that? That looks like some sort of cross stitch thing. Fucking Iroquois, maybe? What? No. Vintage Iroquois? No, that's like a cross Tur stitch. Turn of the century? That's yarn in plastic. Iroquois. Like something your grandma would make to go over a, a maybe my tissue box. Maybe my grandmother was Iroquois. You don't fucking know. <laughs> Stacy, can you grab that? Both of our hands are wet. We can't be climbing. Oh, okay, last trap of the season. Last trap. For sure this time. Can you reach that? I I I can Last one. Can one of the mods decline that guy? He keeps asking again and again. Because I'm one of the most positive lives out there. Why? There's lobsters in there. There's a lot of lobsters in there. I did not think we were going to Look get Look at any. that guy. That's a, a big daddy. A nice lobster. All right. He's got pretty spots. All right. Some baddies. Last day of the season, and they decide to play along. That's a shot. Can I grab the stone cow? Yeah. Yay! Be not afraid. Two, three. Yee. I got the stone crab without screaming. Everything in here is legal. Aren't you proud of me? It has no claws. I know, but even then I used to scream at them. Look at his tiny little... See his tiny, tiny little claw? Tiny, tiny. Bye bye. That's it. That was a nice little trap. That was. I can't believe we missed that. We, that, we must have driven past that one three times, Jesse. Well, no. Uh, Coming out. I don't think they were back a, a very good time. line. And then coming out. Beautiful line issue. Maybe it's the weather. We'll call it the weather. How's that? Okay. Stays on the table. I'm gonna grab my water bottle real quick. You do you, Sarah. I will do me, Jeffy. What a mess. God damn, what a dirty boat. Look at all this shit. Alright, you 
You got the... I'll get it. Hello. I'm gonna switch you guys. Oh, how do I flip it the other way from selfie mode? Uh, that's so frustrating. We caught a basket full of lobsters. Hi, Eileen. Okay. Okay. Flip camera. Okay. Okay, flip camera. so she can stop requests. Okay, I cannot do that while moving, certainly not. And then I also can't do it with wet hands. So Stacy, tell him that later when you guys do like a night live and he's able to push buttons. When will you see you guys live again after today? Well, we gotta do stone crab at some point, right? We gotta do stone crab again. Yeah, and the next flat day, the next day the weather dies down. I'm backing off on the overtime shifts so I can be available to be on the boat again. But then late April, I gotta go out of town. You're welcome. No problem. Mom is Jesse's girl Stacy's mom. dirty my sleeves are this is a white shirt Grandma's magic is amazing. 
Make sure he gives you a spot, eh? I'm not gonna hold my breath. Spaghetti? What? Spaghetti? They said spa. Spaghetti. Day. Spaghetti. S P A space D A Y. At Chica? Chica? Chica is like the most expensive uh, resort in the area. Uh, looks like the battery is going low, guys. We are not going to hook back up to the battery pack. So if it suddenly cuts out, it's because the battery died. But that was our last line. We're heading back to the dock now, and then I gotta load these traps onto uh, the pallet while Jesse plays with the forklift. Spa, Jesse. What's another way to say spa day? Is there another way to say it? Nice to see you and Jesse back to work again. I'm trying for you, Sarah. I appreciate it. We appreciate the live today. It's been a fun day. I mean, it's a hard day. I like throwing traps too. I don't like packing out traps as much as I like throwing them. It is funny how he gets selective hearing. Relaxation station. Oh my gosh. I should make a sign for my outdoor shower that says relaxation station. I built this huge solar powered outdoor shower and with my ear infection my doctor was like yeah no when did Jesse come back to work he got cleared five weeks after surgery for late duty which is why he's not moving traps that's why I'm here yeah we both live in the Keys self-care day he'll take that the wrong way He'll think that means something else. He can't lift more than 20 pounds right now. My ENT said to wear earplugs in every shower. She has me... Um, okay, so it's partially my fault, right? I went diving for the gaff to Drew... The water clarity was horrible. Um, it was really, really cold that day. And, uh, you know, I get swimmers here on a regular basis. But I let it go way too long. I let it go for like a month. And it would get better and then go away. Like, start to hurt again. And then it got to a point where it was like down into my jaw and neck. And I went to the dock and, um, like... I know her through work and stuff and I got balled out like oral antibiotics and antibiotic eardrops and all that stuff so I'm still on antibiotics it has gotten better where my hearing improved but she was concerned that I was like borderline gonna rupture my eardrum like that's how messed up the ear was we did catch a lot more lobsters than we expected like it's not a lot, a lot, but for the end of the season, it is impressive. Uh, but anyway, the doc told me I needed to uh, shower with a cotton ball on my ear because I was starting to lose my hearing. Lobsters 
lobster season will start again in August. There is a mini season for recreational lobster in, uh, it's two days in late July. We do get octopus in the traps. You can check out Jesse's videos. And uh, I have some on my TikTok too of octopus. I had an octopus recently when I was out with Drew on Valentine's Day that was had eggs. And she was gripping her eggs with the tentacles. So we very gently put that trap back in the water. If he gets pygmies, then he will sell them for aquarium, but they gotta be like the right size and everything. We get a lot of, people call them common octopus or Caribbean reef octopus. That's probably the most common type of octopus that we get in our traps here. Thanks Sarah for all the interesting info. Thank you. I can't read the bottom of it because of the rabbit. Good to see you today. Good to see you guys too. It's been a fun live. They really are. And they're very resilient animals. Yes, we are in the Keys. We are in Isla Mirada area. You like learning? Awesome. It's gotta be at least 80 degrees. It is in the 70s, the wind is kicking, probably 10 to 15 knots, and I am getting salt sprayed. Octopus are really cool. They freak you out. They're kind of fun to like hold and pull out of the trap and they crawl around and stuff, but most of them we let go. Season correlates with their breeding season. So they like to hide out in the traps. Sometimes we get eggs in there. No bycatch today. We actually got a nice sized angelfish. And what else did we get? I keep forgetting. It wasn't a blenny, it was a. Crap. I have short term memory loss. Itchy, itchy. What do you do for work in the off season? So my primary job is medical. This is Jesse's primary job. In the off season, he does a lot of gear work. This year, he'll be getting the new boat ready. And he's trying to get a snapper grouper license, at least one. If that's the case, we'll be doing some fishing.
So the new boat will be great for traps, but not for bully netting. So Jesse is hoping not to sell the legit, but depends on financing. want to help with the new boat there is a GoFundMe on Jesse's link tree if you're interested and then there's a really cool incentive if you do contribute um, if you guys want to do like we haven't done a meet and greet or anything but if you do contribute to the GoFundMe you'll be invited to go to a cookout on the reef on the new boat and then top contributor gets an Airbnb stay with that for the follow. Oh, I can't wait to get into the canal. It's cold. I'm cold. giveaway of this sticker. This is the legit sticker every week. And then if he finds like a cool um, shell or something, he'll throw that into the giveaway. And then I told him to throw in one of my deck hand stickers for the uh, giveaway tonight. So that's my little deck hand sticker. That is Jesse's sticker. Giveaway tonight, guys. If you're a subscriber. Zeniel said, got a sticker and I love it. Zeniel. Oh, yeah. They're cool. 
Stacy says both stickers are awesome. Just come up here and bother Jesse. I need to uh, come up with a new design for the new boat. Correct. An octopus? I think an octopus or an eel. That would be cool. A spotted moray? Yeah. Or is that too busy? I was thinking just gene generic moray. Uh, green, I like catching the green. The green ones are pretty. Octopus. That's not, that's not no wig, my guy. Would love to go out with you guys, not half as tough as Sarah, though. Well, that guy is fucking all involved. That is not no wig, my guy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do some, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to set up some kind of a charter program the new boat because it'll be you know new boat's bigger it's got more space more accommodating they like the eel idea the angry eel got water in my boot you sure do i went out this got that, morning you got that foot soup going on <laughs> I went out this morning to grab my extra tufts, filled with water from the storms, oh, even you, though they you left were them outside. Well, I leave them out on the back deck under that table, and like they're tucked under that table. Yeah, but it was it was raining sideways. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I looked outside. I could not see the other side of this boat for the rain. Jeez. Stacy says it definitely needs to be angry. Angry, aggressive. Chompers. It would be cool if you did an animal that you can make orange and white to match the boobies. I mean, I could make any of them orange and white. An orange and white eel, though, would look weird. You could do a spotted eel and make the spots orange. Or is that too leopard print? This place is for sale. It needs some uh, help with the dock. I like the spiral staircase, and I mean, look at that lift. Oh, uh, you know my buddy Jay? Okay. His grandfather built that place. Really? Yeah. TB likes the octopus idea. Glass bottom boat. Yeah. Yeah. What's your boat's name? This boat or the new boat? We'll tell them both. All right, this is the legit, and the new boat is the entry. We should take a poll for shits and giggles, octopus or eel. That's what they're saying in the comments. Okay, do it. Somebody's cooking. Yeah. Fuck me, that smells good. Smells like charcoal. Yeah, it's a grill for sure. Mm -hmm. Son of How bitch. good would a charcoal burger be right I now? I was not hungry until just a second. Melted cheese. Oh, <gasps> you gonna go get burgers at the place by what? the whistle stop? That's not the whistle stop. You mean the whistle stop? It's not the whistle stop. It is though. I will fight you. It is the whistle stop. It is stop. not the whistle stop. It is the place next to the whistle stop. Did you stop. ever have the cheeseburger at the whistle stop? You can. You can order food Did at the whistle stop. Did you ever have before the pizza joint? Did you ever have the burger there? No, I had um, their pizza, their pizza rolls, stuff like that. It is the exact same food. 
It is. But the Whistle Stop is one business, and then the place next to it is not called the Whistle Stop. It has a different name. I don't know. You get kind of pedantic. I think you're a gaslighter. I think you knew how much it would bother me to walk into the whistle stop, so you told me the whistle stop, so I would go to the whistle stop and be horribly uncomfortable. And then you're like, had, "Where are you?" I've had I'm a at lot the of whistle people stop. Make that exact same mistake where they're like, "Hey, I'm here. Where are you?" And I'm like, "I'm sitting down by the door." Because you're not in the whistle stop. It has a different I can't name. Help people aren't paying attention. It's not my fault. You think it's the whistle stop, but it's not the whistle stop. It's the whistle stop. It's not the whistle stop. There's a different name on the door. That poll is up. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Tell us if you want an eel or an octopus. Eileen. Eileen, my love. Nice rods. I was looking at the anchor they got on the dock. Anchor. Yeah, it's still shiny. Oh, stainless. <laughs> oh, somebody sent bunny ears. New logo, 12 votes. 41% says eel. 58.33% says octopus. I think it'll win either way. I'm afraid it's going to fall. Octopus won. I'm glad that this part is over. I'm not looking forward to the next part, but I'm looking forward to what comes after that. The nothing? The change my clothes and go home. What about both? Ooh. You could have an eel fighting an octopus. I'm sure I'll eventually have to. <laughs> They're saying burgers. I vote for burgers. A burger does sound really good. I gotta go see my parents and then maybe I'll just stop and get a booger. It is 3.20 from what I can see. You gotta hurry. All right. You'll be good, man. No, because I gotta be able to deliver product. Oh, that's right. So I gotta carry product over there too, because you can't lift that. That's definitely, okay. That's definitely more than 20 pounds of wash. Yeah, I know. And we gotta get a bycatch bucket going. An eel tangled in octopus. I like that idea. Like an octopus and an eel wrestling. Sounds like a hentai video. That's what I was thinking, but I wasn't gonna say it out loud. It was a soft pitch. Jesse, three new subs. Oh, no shit. Rock on. Welcome aboard. Been watching forever. Time to join. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will, I will do the giveaway tonight. And, and I, when we hit 50 subs, I'll give away an ounce of silver. Ooh. Dean. Mr. Dean. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. With the tiny dinies. Southern man subscribed. Thank you. That makes 39. No shit. Awesome. Who was the other one that subscribed? I don't know. I'm not looking at the phone. I don't know. I'm asking. Uh, Eileen says, if I win, please pick someone else. <laughs> Eileen, you are like so lucky you when it comes like to times. the giveaways. Yeah. See, Sarah, I missed that comment. Working harder than most men I know. Jesse will tell you that. That I work harder than most men. You have said that to me before. Was I drunk? No. Are you sure? Positive. There's a reason you keep me around. Stacy has a face palm. I'm going to go stand back here. Oh, there's the new boat, guys. Let's put the bunny ears on the new boat. There she is. She's docked up right there. If you watch the green light, the green light's like right in there. 
Oh, I gotta turn the light on again. It was like so full it wasn't funny when we uh, entered the canal. Trying for a sub wave. Much better this time, yeah. Let's get Jesse to 40 subs. One more sub will make 40 subs. You guys rock. Thank you guys for subbing today. I think we got four new subs. Was that it? I'm going to be stepping away from the camera, guys. I'm going to throw it in this rod holder. Is that a good angle? Yeah. Me good now. <coughs> we got to get this product up to the fish house, though. You want to do the product first? Yeah, we're running out of so. time. Okay, you want to end the live then? I don't, I don't know what time he's leaving. Um, I'll tell you what. If you want to play with the traps, I'll go deliver. Okay. I just, you want to pull the truck up here and then I'll just... Yep. Okay. I'll be right back. Get full of lobster, guys. That's today's haul. Right See, I'm gonna go load his lobster shovel.
they're going. I don't see the building. It's super tiny, just keep grabbing it. Where do you want the spider? I'm gonna get the bubble air going first before I trans excuse me, before I transfer that big old angelfish over. Um, I don't have anywhere to put you guys. I want you to be able to see the angel. Is that okay? I hope that's okay. I'm not gonna take the time to look. There's the angel. Big one, like bigger than my hand. Get in there. They're okay. Get in there. Good girl. And he said to leave the spider crown in there. We'll leave the tropicals here so that he can take them into the house after we move them up. I need to get them out of the way. You stay right there, baby girl. Okay, guys, come on. One more to make 40 subscribers. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around. I'm gonna move some traps. Yay, my favorite part.
you had but I just had to what? I don't know what kind of knot you had up there but broke loose loose from the cleat. It just had to strong arm it. Broke rope? Yeah. Oh shit. You're glad I caught it when I did. I was back there so I turned the wheel and then I worked no. my way up here. It wasn't the knot the rope. The rope broke. Yeah, so I don't know what you have going on, but I just did a little hole in there. I had to strong arm it back in. Low key freaked out a little bit. Well, you know it's still in gear, right? Yes, I, I used it. I tried to just get it lined up so I could at least walk her in a little bit. Because it was nosing it in, wasn't it? At least I thought that's how you had it. Like that? 30 pounds of loss. 30 pounds? I caramba. That's fine. Like that? Yeah, just give me another book. Alright, alright. I was just playing freaking tug of war, dude. Y'all will test for me. Sarah's where the fuck is Jesse moment. And that just screwed up my exit strategy. Let me go over there. Christ. I'm not even sure that was 30 traps. No, not even close. So that's better than your average. It's big. They're all big. Two more.
Here. This guy. That's probably the one that's been shitting on my boat. more than mine and your vehicles put together, you know that? That hurts my feelings. I know. I know. These aren't even old enough to drink in Canada. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Center them. Okay. One right here, one right here. Okay. catch right behind you. That is the last trap out of the water. Last trap that has to be hand moved. It is done. The worst part is over. Thank you, Stacy. Did you guys see me arm wrestling with the freaking boat? Was not expecting that to happen. You guys probably saw that line pop before I did, too. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You guys are so sweet. So sweet. So Jesse docks to legit on the other side of the entropy, and then we gotta crawl up onto the entropy. I should walk over there. I am a tough girl. Okay. Last trap of the season. It is done. I'm so happy. See, everybody else has their traps already out of the water. We relate. What happened? So, Jesse, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. We're spying on Jesse. Jesse used crab rope 
to cleat up the front of the legit and she was in gear to keep the stern towards the dock. Well, crab rope breaks, okay? So, crab rope broke. The bow broke away from the dock. I realized it grabbed hold of the pylon there and then turned the wheel to center her out and then strong armed her back up, tied a bowl in because it couldn't get back up to that cleat. Look at them. They want to spy on you. I'll come follow you. You guys want to follow Jesse on the forklift? This is the cleanest I've ever seen his side yard. You know why? Because I cleaned it. Somebody said, um, it's the best live they've seen on TikTok. That's so sweet. Thank you. Spa day for Sarah. Yeah, that's going to be a hard one to convince him to do spaghetti they keep saying spaghetti for Sarah Spaghetti for Sarah. I figured if I said spaghetti maybe you would mishear it as what it actually is spaghetti. no it's not spaghetti spa day if you're trying to say a word you're not quite finishing it read my lips what do you mean spa spaghetti <laughs> Why don't I drive the boat over? Mm -hmm. Woman driver, no survivor. Calm down. I used to play Captain Ron for people back in my lifeguard days. Look at the manatee, y'all. So we got to wrap whereabouts, the second around. one. Hang on, I'm holding the camera too. This one. How is this legal? How is what legal? I don't know. What are you talking about? Me with a forklift. <laughs> I think anybody can drive a forklift, right? You own it. You can drive it. How is this legal? What are you referring to? Lots of things are legal. It doesn't seem like they should be. Correct. Agreed. So, is that it for this pallet, or are we going to stock stone on there? No. No, we don't mix. She needs a raise. She's a hard worker. She at least deserves supper. Can't hear you over the motor. Spa! A gamma. A gamma. Ooh. Okay, let me try to get him. So this is a different species from an iguana. They're becoming more invasive down here. They have a black body with an orange head. It's called an agama. Red agama. He's running in here. Can you guys see him? He's right in front of those traps there. Let me try to focus. I haven't seen them this far south. I've seen some in Key Largo, but not down here. Damn it, Jesse, spa day. Do you guys see him? Hang on, let me try to zoom. Yeah, so they're kind of like an iguana, but they're from Africa. And they got kind of like an orange tail, reddish, normally a reddish orange head. Yeah, they're invasive just like the iguanas. They'd make good bait. You have them all over, Mary.
Did one of the slats break? Huh? It it went. Lopsided. Sorry, boss. I think his forks are lopsided. I'm sure this is not legal. It doesn't seem like it should be legal, but it is. I don't think me standing on the step with you driving the forklift is legal. Somebody's critiquing this. They said you're carrying your load too high. That's what she said. How's that? Did you put it higher? It looks OSHA approved to me. Someone said Jesse is handsome. I'm jumping off. Bye. He would have totally taken me out with that tree, guys. Do you guys know how excited he was about the forklift? So normally we would have to pack these traps from the dock over here and restack them in the side yard. So this just took a bunch of work off of our plate. Because packing these traps is oof. I think your fork is stuck. That, it wasn't lopsided, Jesse. Maybe you should have taken a class. What is the fork? Uh, the little prongs that come out the bottom that he picked up the pallet with? He seems to have gotten one stuck. Yay, Jesse! <laughs> Are you guys married? Married to the forklift now. I'm not surprised by that at all. Oh, Let no. Sarah do it, she will fix it. I want to make light. Flame decals on the side. Black flame. That would look good. Good contrast, like Halloween. Biker flames, bro. That worked out well. Yeah. We're done. We're done. We're done. Yay. Happy lobster season. Lobster season is over. They said, wait, you didn't answer your question. No, we are not married. No, we're not married. Uh, we are not dating. We are not in a relationship. None of that. No. I just work here. And we're friends, kind of. He's my number one friend. I'm a very special number one friend. <laughs> Did you break it? Yeah. I was trying. You guys want to see the entropy real quick? Everybody wants to see the boat. The new boat. The new boat's here. This is the bow. That's the cockpit. <laughs> Somebody said they could be married. They have his and her stains on the fronts of their shirts. It's just from working, man. It's a dirty job. This is the bigger boat. This is the entropy. So in order to load and unload the legit, we got to crawl across the entropy in order to get over there. Oh, I need tropical. I'm going to go get them. Do you want to take this and say goodbye? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do the thing. Do the thing. Let me put my thing up and wave. Bye, guys. Thank you for yeah. all the positivity, all the love and support. There you go. Isn't that magical? Grumble, grumble. All right.
Yep, so that's a day, everybody. Thanks for hanging out while Sarah makes a goddamn mess. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll be going back out for stone crab soon. I don't know when exactly, but it'll be soon, sometime in the next few days. So, yeah. I, I don't know if Sarah's going to be there or not, but because uh, just pulling the stone crab traps, I can do that on my own, I think. So, uh, I'm glad you guys had fun been great all right everybody uh got to get busy doing other things now but uh thanks everybody for hanging out appreciate all the support and i will see you tonight good question tina don't know what time but it'll be sometime in the evening how's that bye. all right all right bye-bye bye-bye